David Vitter was a congressman from Louisiana and then a U.S. senator. I think he's still a U.S. senator. And now he's running for governor of Louisiana. And he released a curious campaign ad this week. Hey, this is Willie Robertson. David and I have been out in the woods today. I know he's made some mistakes, but who hasn't? The whole story of the Bible is about redemption. I'm concerned about our state. That's right, Willie. What defines us in life is how we get up and earn redemption. Where we are as a state is needing to get up based on strong conservative principles. And that's what I'm leading with. And you need to grow a better beard. Yeah, you got to talk to one about that. We'll work on that. David Bitter. He'll get Louisiana working again. Just ask Willie Robertson. Because <laughs> who knows better than Willie Robertson uh, how to run a government? I always, the first thing that comes to mind, fucking Willie Robertson. Are we having trouble again trying to figure out the right marginal tax rate? Can you get fucking Willie Robertson on the phone, please? I mean, I know the guy's fucking duck calls. In between his duck calls, he's fucking taking, you know, making phone calls, talking to the, to, to politicians in France. No, I told you, that's not how you do it. You have to carry the one when you're doing the budget analysis. Come on. So stupid. So stupid. They are insulting your intelligence if you're a voter in Louisiana. You can't. If you vote for David Vitter after that, if you see that commercial and you still vote for David Vitter, you're a moron. You're a moron. They're insulting you. Now, it's not just, you know, the goofy aspect that fucking Willie Robertson is like put forth as, oh, he says it. It must be right. No, it's everything else about David Vitter. So I don't, I'm sure you caught it there at the end of the ad. You see David Vitter, well, he's walking his dog and his family's with him and they're smiling and it looks like a fucking picture that's in a frame when you're trying to buy a frame that you'd see at like Walmart or some shit. Like, oh, we're such a happy family. Family values. That's a look. Look around here. Christians. Oh, we're Christians. Uh, you guys know what David Vitter is most known for, right? Going to hookers. Here's a guy who, he's against Planned Parenthood, he's against abortion, he's for prayer in school, he's against gay marriage, because, you know, <laughs> marriage is sacred, uh, and he ran on family values, and then he was caught going to hookers. And when he was caught, what did he do? He's like, yeah, I sinned, I made the problems, shut the fuck up, go away. And people in Louisiana were like, that's right, I'm with him. I love it when my politicians go to hookers when they run on family values. I'm still going to support them. What? That's a contradiction. I don't care about contradictions. He's a Christian. He's on the right team. So he can do whatever. Really, how far does it go? Now, I'm not the one that says, hey, that's wrong. You say that's wrong. You say that's a terrible sin. So uh, what other sins will you forgive if it's somebody who's one of the good guys who does it? Murder? I mean, Cheney shot people in the face. I, I, it's all right. He's one of the good ones, you know. Did somebody commit murder? Be like, well, look, he's a Christian, so forgiveness, forgiveness. Funny how it's always forgiveness for if you're in the clan. <laughs> Funny, I say the word clan. I almost mean it literally here. But if you're outside of it, then they're like, oh, judgment, judgment, gay, evil, bad. Would you fucking repent? But if you're inside of it, <whistles> oh, you went to hookers. It's totally cool, bro. By the way, what is the punishment for adultery in the Bible? I'm curious. And these is f so fucking Christians. We're Christians. We're Christians. Really? You just did one of the. Isn't it death in the Bible for that? Like, yeah, Christians, except for that part, because it's inconvenient right now. 